hello. Uh, welcome to the second Silk uh, webinar. Um, I'm uh, Alicia, join me, our uh, in-house data journalist. Hi, Alicia. Hi. <laughs> and um, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, cleaning and enhancing data. Um, we will um, uh, take a messy spreadsheet and clean it up and put all kinds of interesting stuff uh, in it by using APIs and uh, uh, open refine and lots of other cool tricks. Um, Alicia will just uh, show you uh, how she does this by uh, uh, using uh, an example of uh, uh, a data set with movies and uh, I'm sure you'll like it and afterwards we can uh, answer some questions. Um, you can ask a question with the blue Q&A button in the left sidebar and then at, uh, at the end we'll do our best to uh, to answer them or uh, during if that's uh, if that calls for it. Um, there's also a, a yellow button that's called showcase. I put all the links that we um, use in this uh, webinar there. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can also find those in the email and on the event page, but just to be sure. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if a lot of people are watching live now, but uh, I think it's best just to switch to Alicia. Uh, to show the cool stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Alicia from Silk, and I will show you how to transform a, a movie list from IMDb into like a clean spreadsheet with additional information that you can then analyze and visualize. Uh, so there, are, you can start off either with your own list of, of from IMDb. Um, wait a second, I will share the screen. <laughs> wow, what <Nice>. happened here? <laughs> you're, sharing, you're sharing the, the, the Google uh, thing, oh. but if you, if you switch a tab, then it will be okay. Oh, but I clicked the entire screen, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, but if you now take another tab in your browser, oh, okay. then it will then So, will in your IMDb yeah. profile, you, you have your own list, so you can either have a list of movie you watched or movie you want to watch, and IMDb for example, I'm going to take a list of movie I watched. And if you go to the bottom of your list, uh, IMDB lets you export it as CSV right here. So this is the quickest way to have a movie list from IMDB, but you can also use like public list and you can just search for them on IMDB. And once you download it, your spreadsheet would look like this. So it's pretty clean data with the IMDB ID, the title of the movie, the directors, the rating, the genres, and all this kind of information. Uh, but let's say you want more information, for example, the image of the movie or the plot or the writers, the actors, and all these kind of things that are not in this like, default uh, data set. And there are several ways to do this. And I'm going to show you how to use the Open Movie Database API which is an, an, an API that like, retrieves all the data from IMDb, but like outputs in like a machine readable format. And it's very easy to use. And so I'm going to show you how to use it on this data set. So, well, first of all, you can delete a few columns actually from the IMDb output that you will need, like creation date or, I don't know, ratings or, yeah, this kind of thing. Then you, Oh, this one as well. Then it's really important that you keep this column here with the IMDB ID because that's the one you're going to use for the API calls from uh, the Open Movie Database. So how the API works is basically every movie looks like this. It has all this kind of information. And to get it for a specific movie, you need to change this parameter, parameter here, which is, oh, sorry. Oh, my computer is still. Which is the ID of that specific movie. So, you would copy this here. Okay. 
So the first part of the API call, you leave it. Then you would add the specific uh, ID for the movie you want to retrieve the data about. So in this case, it's in this cell here. So you just click here. And so this constructs the URL for the call you want to make. And then if you drag this down to the bottom, this will autocomplete for all the movies in your list. And so like now clicking on any one of these will give you the data for that specific movie. Uh, so we can call this OMDB API. Now what you want is to get this data that is here into your Google spreadsheet with all the other data that you already have. And to do this, you would use the import data function of Google Sheets. So in here, you would type equals catenate import data. And then from this URL here, so you would click on this cell to put it there. And this like uh, inputs all the data from this API here into your spreadsheet. And then again, you drag it down. And, and this way, you now have additional data for all the movies in your CSV file. The problem is all this data is all together in one cell, concatenated, and has no structure at all. So what you want to do now is pass on to cleaning this data so that it's in a structure format. So for this, you won't need uh, Google Sheets anymore, but you would need uh, something called OpenRefine. Uh, which is an open source tool for cleaning data. And there's also a more advanced version, which is the uh, linked open data refine, which you can find. It's called LOD refine. But we're going to use the basic one of open refine. Uh, so to use the program, you first download this as a CSV. And then you open open refine which the interface looks like this. Uh, you create a project, and you import the spreadsheet you just downloaded. <coughs> um, this is what your data looks like. And make sure to like pick a character encoding that fits, because otherwise, some characters will not work. So it's almost always this one, Unicode UTF-8. And then you create the project. And so, well, the first columns are OK, because they're the ones imported from my NDB, and they were already structured. What we need to clean is this column here. So you do like one for the title, one for the year, one for the rating. And if you look at the text, you can see that a new variable, like the value for each variable, starts after this sign here. So what you do, you click on the column. And you go split into several columns. And you use a separator that character, the series of characters there. And now that long string of text is separated into like different columns, each one containing different data that you need. So well, some of them is redundant, because you already had it in your first data set. So you can go ahead and delete it. For example, the title you already had. or the year. And let's say, like, just to be quick, we only keep the, the writers, because the director we already had, um, and the plot and the image. So let's keep those. Or you can keep also the language, the country, or you can delete this one. This is the image URL. And then this is like the IMDB rating that we already had in the first import. So we just delete them. OK. And then we start cleaning the data, because as you can see, like at the end of each cell, there's uh, the name of the next variable, what it's going to be in the next column. So we need to get rid of this. 
And so this column, for example, had the writers. And so we transform the cells in this column and we tell it to remove, so replace, in, this, in the value of that cell, the term actors, only to be sure actors comes at the end of the cell. So we're going to use regular expressions to specify to only get actors when it's a piece of string at the end of that cell. So the regular expression for the end of, the, of a string is adding the dollar sign at the end of the string. And then in Google Refine to, to, the, to tell the program that you're using regular expression, you would use two slashes. So this thing here is the formula to say, look for the word actors at the end of a line. And then you tell it, replace it with an empty string. So in practice, remove it. As you can see, this is, was the string before. And this is what it will look like after the transformation without actors at the end. So you apply this one. Then we want to do the same here because you can see this is writers and it has plot. So we want to remove plot. So we use transform. And only you use the same function before. So you can just go to history, reuse it. And now we only need to replace plot instead of actors. And this will clean this uh, column here. And now all the plot at the end is gone. And then we do the same for this one, removing language. This one to remove uh, country. Uh, this one removes awards. And this one to remove the meta score at the end of the URL. Okay, now like all the data we have here is pretty clean. Uh, we can do a few other things. Um, for example, like the like Silejean, so they're all in lowercase. We can transform them all like in a proper case just with a click. So you would go again, edit cells, and you can go to common transforms, and there's two title case. So this one is now transformed. Uh, and then I'm going to show you something else. So let's look at the column directors. And if you create, like from any column, you can create a facet and then a text facet. And it will show you all the values that are available. And so this one shows you all the names of the directors that are in this column. And then, as you can see, some are comma separated because maybe a movie has more than one director and we want to see the single ones. So we split those cells. We split multi-valued cells by a comma. And now we have a list of all the individual directors. And skimming through, we notice that there are some mistakes in the data. For example, Woody Allen is spelled two times differently. And it could be the same person, a different person, but then if you look at the movie, you say, okay, this should be spelled the other way. And it's the same with other directors as well in the list. So open refine is a function that helps you to clean cases when data is like this. So where there are multiple instances of the same entity, like spelled differently or with additional characters, and it's the cluster function. So after you created a facet for the directors, you can click cluster. And it will show you some options of things that could be merged in the same one. For example, is Bigas Luna the same as Luna's Big, Luna Bigas? And you can say yes. And so it merges them together in the same one. And you can use these different algorithms to check which entities can be merged. So there is the phonetic ones. And then you can also use the, the nearest neighbor and it will find other ones. And so you just go on and you merge instances that look like they are the same. And of course, you can also adjust the parameters here, for example, radius or the characters. And it will show you like other options. In some cases, it's, you don't want to refine them, so it's always good to double check. 
Uh, once you're done cleaning the directors, you want to join them back together because we want two directors in the same movie to be together again. So you just join them again with a comma. And so now you have a data set that is the original IMDb data set, but clean because we clean the directors and then enhanced with other data like the main actors, the writers, the plot, the image, the language and the countries. And so we're, we're, if we're happy with it, we can export it and then import it again in the original spreadsheet to replace it. And, so, and then we can go on and rename all the columns appropriately. And then as you can see now, you have all the images for each movie and the plot. And so you can do a bunch of things like analyze the plot keywords to see how they change through time or look at the color distribution of movie posters or all this kind of thing. And I'm going to show you how to do one thing. Uh, for example, to analyze the gender of the directors. So let's say you have this data set of movie and you want to see, okay, are most of the directors men or women? Uh, there's an easy way to do this, which takes uh, like five minutes. And it's really useful because you can do it with any data set. So you have like the most watched movie or the eye hurting movies or the winning movies at the Oscars and you can analyze the gender distribution in all, the, all these data sets. So how it works is you go back to your open refine project and well, you can get rid of all the columns here, except the director. So this column here stays. And well, so this. And then you keep the column with the movie ID because you want to be able to trace every director to the movie it's he was directing. But then all the other data, you already have it in the spreadsheet you already downloaded. And then, so, and then we move this one actually to the beginning the one with the ID. Okay, so now you have only the directors and the movie relationships. And again, we want to split the directors because there's more than one in the same cell sometimes. So we do this. And then we notice that now that we split the cells, some cells don't have information about the movies because these two, let's say, work together. And so we do something else called fill down cells. So you go and edit cells and fill down. And so it will just copy down the information from the previous cell when they're empty. And so now we, all, we have the proper combination between uh, directors and movies again. And so like to understand the gender of the director, we need the, the first name. So we add a column based on this column and we call it first name. And we want this column to contain the first name from this one. So you would say split the value from uh, on the basis of a space. So this splits this value here that's containing the cell into a space. And then you tell it to get the first instance and the index starts at zero. So this formula here will get you the first name that was containing the previous uh, column. Now you go okay. And so now you have a column with all the first names, which makes it easier to like infer the gender, the gender of the director. So we export this again, and we create a new sheet in the spreadsheet and we call it director. And we import here the spreadsheet we just created. And now we're going to use something which is the is a gender API, which let me find it. Uh, it's uh, gender genderized.io, 
uh, which is an API to determine the gender of a first name. And they have this giant database where they collect the uh, probability that a name is either male or female. And so how you use it, it's, it's here. So you need to write this here. And then the first name depends on the first name we want to insert. So we just copy this in this cell here. And then we tell to concatenate this uh, URL here with the lower case first, uh, version of this, what is in this cell here. So that formula there, this formula here, will get you the API call you need to find the gender for Adam. As you can see, this is the result. This is Adam, it's uh, a male name in basically with a one probability, so it's 100%. And now, again, you just need to double click and drag down this formula here, and we will autofill the URL for all the first name that we have here for all the 300 directors of the movies. Now that we have this, we do again, we use the same formula we used before, which is import data, to get the result of the API call in the spreadsheet. So import data and then from D2. Then we drag it down again. And then of course, if you're doing like research, it's important to keep in mind like the probability that a name is a male or a female before you actually assign it. But in this case, we're just going to assume that it's all 100% certain. And so we only need this column here. Uh, and we move it here. And we can actually delete this one here now. And, and now we can replace, we just want the information about male or female. So we can replace this. And you would, you would select the whole column. And you would go find and replace. And you tell it replace this in this range here. And you replace them all. So now you have information about the gender of all the directors in your, oh, and some of them are now, so we can just actually replace them with nothing. Here. So now we have a data set that has the gender of all the director of the movie we started with, and this is a starting point to do statistics on like percentage of female directors in Oscar movies or in movies participating at different festivals. And you can keep this information in a separate spreadsheet. Or if you want, you can also add it to this one. And so you would do this by adding a column, and we can call it gender of director. And to transpose the information from here to here, we're going to tell to uh, filter this column here, column D, if column A, which is the one that contains the title ID, if column A is equal to the ID we have here. Oh, director D. And so this will retrieve the gender of this director in this spreadsheet. And since some of them have more than one, we want to join the result of this filter with commas, let's say. And again, we drag this down. And we get this information for all the movies we had. And so this is how you would quickly start from a movie list, add information like writers, actors, country, plot, and images, and the gender of the directors. And it can be any starting point. For example, I used it recently for a project I did with Silk, which tracks the gender of women in different uh, film festivals of this year. And I used the same, the same process to see, for example, how many movies at the Venice Film Festival have a female director and a female writer, and it's only like three out of 70. 
or how many movies are directed by women and are in competition, and it's only like 9%. Or uh, you can use it just to showcase your uh, watch list of your favorite movies. You can use it to analyze the plot of the movies that like uh, are more high grossing and all this kind of thing. And I hope you found this interesting. Wait, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a very nice image. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, uh, Alicia. Uh, I learned. I certainly learned a lot. <laughs> um, can you maybe tell me a bit more? Are you um, use this process um, for other kinds of data? Like, do you also use APIs to uh, uh, to do the Google Sheet import uh, XML trick for uh, with other APIs? I mean. Um, yes, well, the, the movie API actually like the cleaner one. Uh, there was a time where you could do it with Crunchbase, for example. So Crunchbase has an API. Now they require premium access in many cases. But if you're lucky enough to have a Crunchbase API, you can do the same for Crunchbase. Or oh, and that's for uh, investor. Uh, that's for yeah. investor information on startups, right? Yes, yeah, for companies like uh, deals or valuation CEOs. Uh, Twitter has an API, so I guess you could probably do something similar. And I guess any service that lets you build an API call to retrieve their data, you can import it in Google Sheets. Oh yeah, super interesting. And um, uh, you also posted uh, like an alternative uh, version to uh, OpenRefine as the yeah. link in the showcase, I think. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, the difference between that one and, uh, again, I didn't catch that. So this is like, uh, it's basically the same product with uh, many uh, like extra extension already installed. So you can even just have OpenRefine and like manually install like more extension. Or this one is already like packaged with all the extension that are useful for cleaning and like using linked open data. So it has like a DBPD extension and oh well, here they are. Uh, RDF extension, uh, crowdsourcing extension. So it has some more extensions that are specifically for open data and linked open data. Oh, nice. But you can also install them manually on the normal OpenRefine because both of these are open uh, source. So it's pretty easy. Well, easier to install this one already, but yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, yeah, okay. I think uh, that was it. Uh, if you uh, see this webinar later and you have any questions, uh, just, just email to, them to, uh, to us, to uh, feedback at silk.co or uh, uh, support at silk.co. Then I or uh, Alicia can uh, help you with any questions you might have about uh, the webinar. Um, this was our second one about uh, uh, cleaning data. Uh, I'll, I'll put my face on. <laughs> Yeah, here I am. <laughs> I'll, uh, this, was, this was our second uh, uh, webinar, the previous one uh, about uh, like gathering data. Uh, you can find that on uh, on uh, on uh, webinar silk dash webinars silk .co, Also shared in the links and in the email you got. We'll I'll put this one there, and uh, the next webinar will be about how you can. Uh, uh, create like a nice website and presentation uh, with the data. So now we have a, a very nice data set. Alicia already showed us what you can, uh, what she made with the data set. She um, she demoed us just now. Uh, I'll let you know when that is. It will be in a few weeks. We don't have set date yet. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll hope uh, to see you there again. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye.